Well, it was after the set material started and this whole thing. Before I realized that people, you might use them or think of them as symbols, or you might, no matter how you say to them, they have their own fantastic individuality. And whenever any beliefs, even our own, blind you to that, you have lost. Whenever you relate to someone as simply a belief or you get your back up and you don't see the reality, then we've won. We'll bring you closer to people. It will not divide you. If, it's, if it divides you, that is not what it is. I bid you good evening. <laughs> and understand your responses to our friend here. For when he speaks, you fear the vocabulary. Because you fear the beliefs that you still are afraid operate. You are afraid that after all, All of your hard earned knowledge the others are right you are not sure of your position and therefore you must defend it uh, with a great uh, vehemence you sin in our well-meaning uh, and uh, beautiful friend. Those are beliefs against which you yourselves have fought for so long. And you are afraid uh, that in your heart of hearts you do not uh, trust the joyful integrity of your own being. You are afraid that after all the old stories may be correct and there is something wrong in your creaturehood. That you are after all put down because you are human and that you are after all damned because you are what you are and that no matter what you say uh, or do you are originally in one way or another damned you are afraid because uh, our friend Andy is uh, so sincere and so intent That after all, what he unconsciously feels uh, and what sometimes uh, comes up uh, in his talk is right after all. You must ascend meaning that there is something wrong with where you are and what you are. Now, in those terms, what you want to be is within you now and within uh, your glowing uh, creaturehood. As he tried uh, to say, there is uh, no uh, above or below. You are blessed because of your being, not damned because of it. As I have told you often, there is a spiritual uh, biology within your being. And it speaks through each of your moments and uh, through uh, 
your sexual experiences. It speaks when you drink a glass of water. Or when uh, you uh, wiggle uh, your foot. That is also. A highly biological nature to your spirituality. Your atoms and your molecules and your cells know themselves to be part of all that is. They do not question. That does not mean that there is anything wrong with questioning. that I say to you that you are blessed because you are that your spirituality is known through the glories of your flesh and that your flesh becomes more spiritual because of its existence to the seasons and it's experience with the time uh, that you know and or recognize. You form your own uh, reality. I uh, say uh, this to you each week. Yet through your own uh, dream experiences, uh, and uh, through the suggestions that I will give uh, you, that I hope uh, that you will follow, you will uh, be able uh, to discover this for yourselves. But I hope to be able to show you the different levels of consciousness in which you dwell. Uh. Again, as I have uh, said before, you are indeed uh, given uh, the gift of the gods. You form uh, your reality. What better gift could be given to you? How uh, then uh, could you imagine uh, that you uh, began uh, this present excursion into this uh, current life already damned, uh, flawed, uh, or forsaken. If each of you would uh, simply listen uh, in the quiet of your own mind, to the music of your own cells. You would uh, know that the atoms within uh, you speak uh, with a joyful exaltation. Uh, those atoms and the molecules uh, luckily have not uh, read uh, many of the books that you have read. Uh, and uh, they do not read uh, your newspapers. They know uh, that they are blessed uh, because they...